Hey there, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. Today, I thought about making a hot comfort food. You know, the kind of comfort food that you want on a fall or winter day when it's really cold outside. And you snuggle up underneath the blanket in front of a fireplace. So before we get started, why don't we hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell icon so you can be notified when I drop another video. So today we're going to be making a hearty beef vegetable soup. And I love this soup. I always make it in the fall and winter months. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this warm comfort food. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to peel this onion I have. It's a yellow onion. It's a large onion. Um, you can use sweet onion for this recipe or a uh, purple onion. I would love to have a purple onion. But today I'm using yellow onion, so I'm going to go ahead and slice this in half and slice it long ways. And then uh, I'm going to turn it around and dice it until I have the whole onion cut up. Okay, so we're doing the remaining of the onion almost done here and I am just going to set this aside and get my potatoes ready and peel them and dice them okay as you see here I've already peeled and washed my potatoes and I'm just going to stick them down here on my cutting board and how I like to do my soups I like them to be hearty so I like some bite to my soup so I'm going to cut these long ways and again long ways and then I'm going to cut some big chunks um, of potato and I love vegetables in my soup and I like them to be big pieces so who doesn't love big chunks of potato in their soup I do I love it so we're going to finish dicing these up there they are and we're going to go ahead and get our pan preheated and put our meat in Okay, so you see this big old cast iron pot here? This is what I make my soups in. And I love this thing. I even make my uh, roasts in this thing. And it has a big old lid. So it's cast iron and it makes your food come out just wonderful, the taste of it. So I'm going to put two pounds of ground meat down in the bottom of this pot. And um, I'm going to um, cook the meat. And when I'm done with the meat, I'm going to drain it and I'm going to wash it. Um, when I always have fatty meat uh, that has a lot of fat coming out of it, I always wash or drain it and wash it. So we're going to go ahead and cook this meat up. And um, after we're done, we're going to drain it and wash all the fat off of it. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like after it's done. I also want to let y'all know that I don't season my meat while I'm cooking it if it's the fatty ground meat. Um, I always wait until after I drain and wash it so uh, the seasonings will remain on the meat. So we're going to go ahead and cook it and uh, I'll show you what I do next. Okay, you see all that fat that's on the bottom of this pot? That's what I want to get rid of. Now, it'll have a little bit more in there uh, once everything is cooked through. But that's what we're trying to get rid of uh, when we drain it and wash it. 
Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, I've already drained and washed the meat, and uh, I am ready to start putting my seasonings in. Now, you can season this how you want to, to your liking. Um, I use garlic powder and onion powder and all that good stuff, so right now I'm going to be starting with this garlic powder, and you want to do it to your taste. So, I never measure anything when I put it in there. I just kind of sprinkle it in like you see me doing here. And I pretty I put a good amount because this is a big pot so I put some garlic powder down in there um, now we are going to use some onion powder and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna just eye it and sprinkle it on in Next, I'm going to be adding some ground black pepper, and I don't put too much of, of the black pepper in uh, with uh, the stuff that I cook, unless I'm making a spicy dish, but I'm just sprinkling it a little bit, maybe a half a teaspoon inside of the pot. Okay, let's give this a mix and we're going to make sure all that seasoning is all over that meat and uh, then we're going to go ahead and add our onion that we chopped up. Now remember, like I said before, you can use whatever onion you prefer. If you don't like those uh, on uh, yellow onions that are really strong, you can use purple onion or um, some sweet onion. But today I used a large yellow onion. I'm just going to throw that in there with that meat and cook it until it's fragrant and translucent. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and give this a mix and get that onion to start cooking with our meat. Okay, so now that the onion and the meat are cooked together, we're going to put some minced garlic inside with the onion and the meat. And I'm just going to put a teaspoon of minced garlic because I put the garlic powder down in there. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up together and uh, make sure not to cook it too long so we don't want to burn our garlic. Okay, so this is just about finished. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out four cups of water with a tablespoon of tomato chicken bouillon. And it's the Nor tomato chicken bouillon that you want to put in with your water. And there it is. There's my four cups of water. And I'm just going to pour that in with all of the onion and um, the meat. And we're going to start putting in our vegetables before we put any more water in there. Because what we want to do is we want to taste it uh, to make sure we have enough of the chicken bouillon. So let's throw in our potatoes. We have all those potatoes we have to throw in. Go ahead and do that. And then we're going to put some baby carrots down in there. And I, since they're already small, I just left them whole. So I'm just going to throw those in there. 
Now, I told y'all this is going to be a hearty soup. Now, I want some vegetables with my soup. And I want to be able to be full after I eat it. So, let's go ahead and put these petite peas down in there. These are frozen. I didn't have any that were um, fresh or in the can. I really don't like using canned peas. Uh, so, I either like fresh out of the garden or frozen ones. So, let's go ahead and I'm just going to throw them in there. I don't measure anything because I like a lot of vegetables in with my soup. So we're just going to put, um, it looks like about a half a cup of peas inside of our soup. Now here comes this sweet corn, y'all. The super sweet corn. This is also frozen. And again, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to throw it on in there. It looks about a half a cup like the peas. Okay, here comes the fresh okra right out of the garden. I diced it up. And it's going right in with the corn and the peas and the carrots. Oh man, this is going to be a good soup. I can't wait to eat it. Now it's going to come in with some diced tomatoes. I put two cans of diced tomatoes down in with the soup. Uh, you don't have to use the can. You can use a fresh tomato. Um, my tomato that I have out of my garden, they're all frozen. So, I would rather just go ahead and put the two cans of uh, tomatoes down in there, diced tomatoes. Now, I'm going to give this a mix and get everything well incorporated with each other. And then I'm going to add some more water. And when I add the water, I'm going to go ahead and taste it and make sure it doesn't need more chicken bouillon. Uh, again, I used the tomato chicken bouillon that's from Noor. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that and put some more water in with my mixture. Okay, y'all. I am about to put some more water in with this soup to make sure it's got enough liquid to cook all of our vegetables and uh, make sure that we have enough of that awesome broth when we have our soup. And um, I went ahead and put some more Nor tomato uh, chicken bouillon in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some more garlic powder because this is a big pot. And we have to taste it to make sure everything is seasoned well. So I went ahead and put some more garlic powder. And now I'm going to come in with some more onion powder and put that in as well. I'm also going to add some more ground black pepper and I'm just going to add maybe a one-fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, I want to be able to taste the black pepper but not to overwhelm it. And I'm also going to use parsley. I love parsley in my uh, soups. Um, it gives it a nice flavor so I'm just going to put maybe a tablespoon of it down inside with the soup. Okay, so we're going to give this a mix and stir it all in with the soup. Make sure it's well incorporated in there and all that flavor gets in there together. And um, I'm going to finish off by putting some more water in there just to make sure everything is well uh, covered in the broth where we can start cooking it now. So we're going to bring this to a boil. And I'm going to um, put the lid on until it starts to boil. And I'm going to come back and show y'all what it looks like after it starts cooking. So I'm going to finish off mixing this and put on the lid. Alright guys, it's time to take off this lid and show you what is going on inside this pot. Oh, look at it. It has so much in there. And there's no way that you can't be full from eating this soup. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look how hearty that is. Oh, it's almost done, y'all. It's almost done. We gotta wait just a few more minutes and let those carrots cook through. So let's go ahead and just put this 
uh, lid back on this pot and cook it for a few more minutes and I'll show you when it gets done. Y'all, as you can see, some of it's already missing out of the pot. They've done been in here and got them a big old bowl of soup. They just cannot stay out of it. <laughs> Does any one of y'all have a spouse that comes and nibbles as you're cooking? Yeah, that's what mine does. So here's my bowl, and I'm going to serve me up a big old helping of this soup. And look how hearty that is, y'all. Oh, those big old chunks of potato, okra, some corn, and carrots, and tomato. Oh, and that broth. I need some more broth in that. I gotta get me some more broth. Oh, look how excellent that looks. And I'm ready to eat, y'all. There it is. My vegetable beef soup. I hope you guys try it. Thank you so much for coming by today. I love you guys. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.